Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me for today's snapshot. Today we're going to be looking at the gold pullback and how to trade it. But before we do that, please take note of the following important information. Please know that CFDs are high risk products and you should be completely aware of the risks that they pose. Also, please realize that this is general commentary only and does not constitute investment advice. And lastly, these are, these are our sources of information. Okay, thank you very much for that. Let's get into it. These are the fundamentals that we're looking at. We must uh, mention that the last gold snapshot was on the 27th of July. In that snapshot, we suggested that gold was overbought and that dips would be compelling. Gold is still near its all-time high. Political tensions still dominate between the US and China. The US dollar continues to weaken and COVID-19 uncertainty still abounds and in this regard we are referring to economic uncertainty and uncertainty on corporate earnings. Let's bring up the technical chart and uh, let's go through to our daily and I want to draw your attention to the relationship between gold which is on the top frame and the US dollar which is on our bottom frame and you can see these green trend line so the, the green trend line in gold is moving in that northeasterly direction the green trend line in the US dollar is moving in that southeasterly direction so there is an, a negative correlation inverse correlation and we want to draw your attention to this date in particular this is the 23rd of March when unlimited unlimited QE was announced by the Federal Reserve and that's really when the negative correlation really kicked in and uh, it's not really surprising take a look at the uh, gold instrument you can see the base currency is gold and the quote currency over here is the US dollar so as the US dollar has moved down the uh, uh, base or gold has moved up let's take a look at this on a daily basis let's draw your attention through to this candle over here so this is following the steep the steep sell down after the overboard condition and you can see we have what we call an anchor in other words the lowest low in at least a three candle cluster and what we do what we did then is we drew a, uh, a horizontal just by the uh, anchors high and the next day the next day we did have um, some strong bullish movement but it was marginal okay, it was marginal so we wanted to wait and then two days later we saw the bulls really show their hand and come in with a big blue candle and right now okay in this aqua ellipse you can see we are trading above the 20-day simple moving average and we just want to see if that 20-day simple moving average starts tracking up take a look at the bottom aqua ellipse and the bottom aqua ellipse shows that the rsi has now moved back above 50 which is on the bullish side of the indicator and uh, i want to just draw your attention to the daily chart of uh, the greenback so here's a daily chart of the us dollar and uh, what we have here is the uh, US dollar actually breaking out of a potential continuation pattern and it looks looks to to me that it could be a, a pennant we've broken down you can see I've got a little question mark here are we going to get another impulse move down the RSI is certainly on the bearish side now if we get the US dollar moving down out of that pennant well um, if the uh, if the relationship if the relationship between uh, gold and the US dollar over here maintains okay if the relationship maintains then that breakdown out of the pennant is certainly interesting and may indeed be supportive for gold let's just end off with a some key takeaways so following the overbought condition gold has dipped we're now looking to see if it's going to give us an entry and if that goal if the dip is in fact compelling we do note that the fin fundamentals are still the same they're still supportive of the precious metal with a geopolitical risk uh, still very much um, in the forefront COVID-19 uncertainty and dollar weakness and of course we note that gold's momentum seems to be kicking up I hope that you found this snapshot useful if you did please click on the subscribe button below Thank you very much for joining me and I look forward to speaking with you in the near future.